Hello everyone, welcome to our Drawbridge project presentation. We are Carlos Rodriguez, Armando Perez, Victor Laloyao and David Hernandez. This is the project that involves both subjects, mechanisms and automatisms. We were asked to build a bridge which involves parts of both these classes and has a mini minimum requirements. First, it needs to be at least 25 centimeters wide, 40 centimeters long, and 15 centimeters tall. It needs to have at least one lane in each direction, and it must open for navigation in one direction. It also needs traffic lights, which would regulate the traffic of the whole bridge. For this project, we had three options. The first one was a platform that would go up and down to let the boats pass, and then the others were drawbridges, which involve rotatory platforms with one platform or with two. After we decided what kind of bridge we wanted, and with some inspiration from the internet, we started designing the whole bridge, part after part, using Katia. We 3D printed everything, and after a couple of weeks, we ended up with the whole structure. Our first idea was to build two rotatory platform bridge, but because of how much 3D printing material and the time it took to print, we decided to build only one half the bridge and then build one platform in which the bridge would close. Using wood and other tools, we constructed the rest of the structure. Then we painted the lanes and glued some parts. When the whole structure was finished, we started the programming phase of the project. Programming a PLC uh, with, the, with all the commands that it needs to work by itself. Then the part of wiring came. We thought this part was going to be the most tedious one, but it actually ended up being kind of fun. Connecting every single wire and being very careful that everything was placed properly took a while, but it was worth it. We connected all the sensors, the lights, the motor, the relays, following what we had sketched before. And the final product is this. So now the fun part, testing the bridge. The special feature that we included in our bridge is that it detects if a vehicle is on the bridge when it's going to be opened. When a vehicle passes through the first sensor of its lane and doesn't pass through the second sensor of its lane, the PLC knows that there is a vehicle on the bridge. This avoids the bridge being opened. We have programmed everything so that in any case, if a vehicle is on the bridge, it won't open. When the vehicle passes through the second sensor, we can see that the bridge is, is opened because of the sensor that knows there, that there is a boat. As we can see, the red light turns from red to green for the boat, and then for the cars, it is red when the bridge is open. When the boat passes through the second sensor, the PLC knows that there is no longer a boat under the bridge and it counts 3 seconds and then closes the platform. As you can see, the traffic lights work and control the movement of the cars and the boats. After testing the bridge, we know that every single requirement that was on the task is fulfilled. Thank you for watching and we hope that you enjoyed our project.